Okay guys, now we move on to section two. And again, I tell you, if you're looking for a reasonable bench score, whenever you practice, practice in such a way that in section one, I must get 10 out of 10. And again, I tell you, it's not difficult. It's not something very, very difficult. If you score 10 out of 10 in section one, and in section two, eight out of 10. I mean, this is for those who need 6.5 to seven band in listening, right? 10 out of 10 in section one, eight out of 10 in section two, and rest, if you do even the tukka stuff and all that, still you can get 6.5, six band easily. But those who are looking for eight band, for them section one, section two, and section four. I'm leaving out section three. Section three is tricky. In section three, sometimes multiple choice, double multiple choice. So there are tricky questions in section three. So you can leave section three for mistakes. A couple of mistakes, three mistakes, four mistakes for section three. But section four, section four is somewhat similar to section one because both are usually one word only. So section one, section two, and section four, these three sections should give you maximum correct answers. Okay, yeah. Now let's start. Section two, questions 11 to 17, answer the questions below, write no more than three words for each answer. Now this time, three words, maximum three words. Sea life center. Now I want you all to imagine beautiful blue sea. Now I want you to imagine whale, turtle, and all that, yeah, yeah, you go inside the sea, not on the beach, okay? Go inside the sea. Sorry to break your imagination, but anyways. So, Sea Life Center information. They have a Sea Life Center, and here we have some information about that, okay? So, the question type is, answer the questions below. We call it short answer question. What do we call it? Short answer, short answer question. For example, how are you? How are you? I'm fine. Fine. Fine is short answer question. How old are you? 15. Okay. <laughs> yeah. So 15. How old are you? 15. Right? Like that. So it's going to be a short answer question with no more than three words. No more than three means maximum three and minimum it can be one or two. Now, question number 11. What was the Sea Life Center previously called, very simple, old name of Sea Life Center. Aapka naam ke? Umair. Pichle saal to Rizwan tha. That is past tense. Okay. So, <laughs> what was the Sea Life Center previously called? Means their old name. Right? We were called or we were known as, right? Something like that. So, it's going to be the previous name. What's the new name? No, Sea Life Center. A new name is that, okay? Yeah. So let's see. You will hear a guide talking about a Sea Life Center. Okay. So, hi, everybody, and welcome to the Sea Life Center. Before you start on your tour, I'd just like to give you some information about things to look out for as you go. Well, first of all, I guess some of you may have been here before and may be surprised to see the name has changed. We're not called World of Water anymore. Since the beginning of this summer, we've been renamed and we've also made a few other changes. We are not called... Excellent! We are not called World of Water. And which word is that? W-O-R-L-D. You must know that, not W-O-R-D. Okay, yeah, pani ka meaning, not like that. So it's going to be W-O-R, it's understood, world of water. Like you said, Jurassic world. So it's understood, they will talk about world. So the answer is world of water. water. No, water. English, you know, water. Yeah. Okay, good. Question, do I need to repeat? Okay, I will. One is saying that. You will hear a guide talking about a sea life center. Okay, so hi everybody and welcome to the Sea Life Center. Before you start on your tour, I'd just like to give you some information about things to look out for as you go. Well, first of all, I guess some of you may have been here before and may be surprised to see the name has changed. We're not called World of Water anymore. 
Since the beginning of this summer, we've been renamed. We've been renamed and we are not called <clears throat> World of Water. World of Water. Any word missing, any spelling mistake, that will be the wrong answer. Okay. Question number 12. What is the newest attraction called? What is the newest attraction called? Now, for example, they say in the zoo, now we have a beautiful African elephant. So newest attraction is? elephant right so what is the newest attraction called it can be a sort of animal or it can be uh, like you know sometimes they have other things it's basically sea life center so they might have a big aquarium which they have recently built so that big aquarium can be new attraction so let's see just focus the word latest thing that we have for new attraction they will use the word Latest thing that we have. And after that, they will give you the answer. Latest thing that we have ke baad answer aayega. Let's see. However, the main attractions like the aquarium, the crocodiles, the penguins and so on are still here. But we have a new restaurant and picnic area. And the latest thing that we have, and it was only finished last week, is the splash ride. This is an exciting new area of the set. Is the splash right. And before that, they talked about restaurant and this and that. And <coughs> by mistake, even if you write the answer, don't uh, close your ears. You need to still go on and listen. And at certain point, if you have to change your answer, just write the second answer also and cross the first one. Don't try to remove it and then write the new one. While audio is going on, don't do any removing stuff. Okay, just cross that and write again and this question booklet will go to the dustbin. Nobody is going to check that. They will only check answer sheet. Okay, so there you have to be careful. Anyways, the answer is splash right. How do you spell splash? S-P-L-A-L-I-S-H? 